perhaps at an appropriate size. This one is, albeit, it's a coffee stain now, but there was a lot of other stains on this in the meantime. Just, I, and please forgive the, the, you know, the fact that these are all crinkly like this. However, most of the time these sheets do actually look like this when we get them out because what's happening is they've come out of surgery, they've gone through the wash, and we're taking them out of the dryer. So although these are just crinkly because they've been, they taught lots of students, generally our first step with this is picking it out of something like that, a laundry basket, it's just been washed. This is a pretty reasonable size for wrapping a gown. So just get, take note of that because when you're starting to practice and certainly for your practical, you want something that's a good size. The other one that I have here is actually, it's a bit big. That's a little bit large. I managed with it, but I'm going to wrap it with this again because I want you to see what happens to the tab when you use something that's a little bit too big. And square, generally better than oblong, but sometimes you just have what you have, so you have to use that and you can work with it. The other thing that Sheridan wants animal care students to uh, wrap in their gown pack is we're going to put a surgical towel in with it. So as soon as the vet's in there, they're able to dry their hands off. And then, of course, what we taught you in class, I need one of these, and I need some of my tape. That's all I need for doing a gown. So I've got all my stuff close by to me. Let's start with the gown. So as I mentioned to you, we're wrapping this gown so that when the, when the vet, it's, we're almost wrapping it inside out so that the vet can just put it on in one swift motion. Why do we want them to be able to put it with just one swift motion? Minimal handling, which means aseptics. I'm not getting hands and everything all over it, okay? So what I challenge you, or how I like to teach, is start out with you almost putting the gown on. So if I was gowning up, this is how it would go. How do I know this is the front versus this? Because they look very similar inside and out. Always look for those ties, okay? Make sure the ties are to the front. Now, I would <clears throat> tell you that the, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put your hands down the sleeves about the length of a t-shirt sleeve. And you're going to pinch and turn it, turn the sleeves inside it from there. I'm going to do it just like this, okay? So I've got my gown like I was putting on. I've got my hands approximately t-shirt length size. And I just turn that, turn those sleeves inside out. And then I'm going to lay it right down on the table, just like this. Make sure when you lay it down, you see these. Okay, that's the right way to lay this down. Otherwise, it gets, um, you won't be wrapping it inside out. And then I'm just going to bring the seams up to match each other. It's a good idea, any of these ties, to tuck them in where you can. But I'm matching my seam up here. I'm matching my seam up here. I'm going to tuck that in as best as I can. And these are approximately, would you agree with me? Approximately the length of a t-shirt. I'm going to fix them a little bit. But. Okay. The rest of the sleeve is actually just, you can't even see it. It's, it's down in here, tucked inside. on this is I'm going to pinch in the center of the gown. Pinch it in half. Just like that. Because I'm going to try to get this down as small as possible so I can wrap it and put it in my autoclave. So I'm going to start accordion folding. And then at this point in time, I'm going to just turn, I'm going to fold it over one more time. This is pretty much as thin as I can get this. And I'm going to put the sleeves sitting up just like that. Then I'm going to accordion fold this way. Now, you could do an accordion fold from the bottom up, but the problem is I need these sleeves on the top. So that remember when I put them on in class, they're right there and I can just do that. So what I like to teach, start from the top, accordion fold this way, and that just ensures that they stay on the top. Am I explaining that well enough and clearly? And there's my gown ready to go. Okay? 
Now, the surgical towel, we like to accordion fold that. And accordion folding a, a towel is just accordion fold it this way and accordion fold it side to side. And I'm going to put that right on the top, okay, because that's the first thing they need to dry their hands off. Not a bad idea to get into just doing a little tab on there for them to pick up. Some of this material doesn't allow for that, so you're not going to lose marks for that, but just be aware that that's a good idea to do that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my outer wraps, the same as we taught in class today. So I'm going to start with this. This is the cotton one. I'm going to lay it down in that diamond pattern. Now, there's nothing wrong with wrapping it this way. I prefer to do my packs lengthwise when I'm putting it on the diamond this way. It just seems to wrap up nicer for me. You find what you like best, try it both ways, or just trust me and try my way. Okay, either way is fine. I just prefer this. And then all I'm going to do, now you're trying to pack this as compact as possible. So you'll notice whenever you're wrapping or whenever I'm wrapping, I'm pushing down on this stuff and I'm going to try to keep it as tight as I can. Okay. Now, do you remember when Sarah was teaching us on the Dove video, when I put my tab back, I need to make sure that everything's covered here. Okay. I can't have this. So make sure when you're creating that, everything's covered. I only have to make one tab here. I don't have to do, you know, this thing here because that tab is pretty much sitting on the top. And then I'm going to go left to right with my tab. Same thing. When I'm wrapping this, I'm going to put my tab saying that way to open. It should cover at least half of this pack side to side. Similarly on this one. If it doesn't, you've got too small of a wrap. Okay, that there. And then I'm going to do my last and final wrap, which includes tucking in. Can you hear that mm -hmm. sound? Yay, it's working. That's a good sound. Okay. Um, I do like to sort of do the little fold the same as she did. But that's finessing. That's not an, a must. Okay? And then I'm going to bring that up. And I'm going to tuck that in. Okay? Now let's see what happens. I just forgot to tell me. Okay, I should have put this in the middle, right? Don't forget on your testing. Inside versus outside. Okay, I'm going to walk away for a sec, okay, Jessica? Yeah. I'm going to have to fix my bra straps and I don't want to get Okay. <laughs> All right. So, now this is a bit big and it's also um, more long, uh, rectangular than square, okay? So, it's going to create some problems for me, but I want you to see what happens. I can still do it, but my tabs are going to look funny, okay? So, I'm going to make sure I put this with the tab up and pointing away, not here because i got to do more handling if I do that. Then I'm going to start over again. I'm going to start. See, already my tab is kind of off-center. Have I got this right way? Yes. Light inside, dark outside. And this one, I am going to have to make a couple of layers to get that tab to the center. Can you see that? Now look where this tab is going to end up. So the tab is, it's not ideal. It, it's okay, but this is what happens when you've got a really big wrap that is rectangular. I'm going to still work with it though. Let's keep going. Okay. And this tab, it's okay. It's, I could, if I wanted to, make it a little bit more center there. And my final wrap. Okay, but those tabs are not ideal. Okay, assuming I had put my steam cock in there, what's the one thing I still have yet to do? Tape. Put my tape on. So I'm going to take a piece of tape, get in the habit, almost as soon as you take that tape off there, make your tab, then you don't forget. I make it right away, otherwise I, I, I can see. And then I just write on it. What was this that I wrapped? Gown. Gown, Gown pack. 
And you may work somewhere that has small, medium, large gowns. Make sure you write that on there. I'm going to put my initials on here and today's date. Ready to go on the autopilot.